So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about AI mentor technical interview questions and answers. How to answer in the interview round? As all of you know, the technical interview mails are out for 2026 password batches. So I have shared the technical interview experiences based on previous year data for your reference. If you get a very late time to prepare before the technical interview, then it is the right video for you guys. I have also attached the technical interview mail of 2025 password batch so that you can get an idea that how technical interview mail looks like. So here is the screenshot that dear your name will be written here greetings from LTI Mindry. We are delighted to confirm your technical interview schedule for 15 October 2024 starting at 11 a.m. It is uh, according to data it is for 2025 password batches. So before moving forward I want to give a brief about the company who are new to this channel. So company name LTI Mindry, role is graduate engineer trainee or GET, package 4.05 LPA, eligibility all branches of BITTECH, MCA and MTECH with 60% or 6 GPA and 10th, 12th degree and PG. Note. So in this video, I am only discussing the technical interviews, questions and answers, not for the HR round because after clearing the technical interview, you will get a separate mail for the HR round. I will share the most common HR questions and answers of LTI Mindry in a separate video. So coming to the interview experiences and its answers experiences duration is 20 to 25 minutes technical interview questions it is interview experience one tell me something about yourself tell me about your machine learning project in details what inspires you to make that project tell types of machine learning formula of precision and recall what is an interface and how it is different from an abstract class what is polymorphism types of polymorphism what is constructor and destructor types of constructor what is method overloading and method overriding coding write a code in the chat box or notepad by find the median of an array so coming to the answer part for experience one, tell me something about yourself. How to answer that type of questions? From my point of view as an interviewer, what they like the most? They will focus on three things. At present, at past and at future. At present, introduce yourself with your full name, mention your current education, share a strong interest or passions. If they ask about your academics, then only talk about your academics performance or achievements since it is already mentioned in your resume. Then coming to the past experiences. What did you do during the last four years of college? They want to know briefly about it. So mention your internship experience what kind of projects you work on, what technologies or, or tools you use. Apart from internships, share what else you learn like teamwork, communication or else you can share like problem solving skills. Highlight whatever new skills and strength you have developed apart from academics. Also mention your biggest lesson or take away from your college journey. In future, what you will mention. Talk about your career goals, how you plan to grow in the chosen field, show your eagerness to join the company, show your enthusiasm for learning and contributing to their company. It will create a positive impact most 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 important part maintain your self introduction part within 45 to 60 seconds i share those part because i also received similar instruction during my college days some colleges even provide a self introduction format draft to guide their students and if your college has shared something like that you can refer to it otherwise let me know in the comments then i will prepare two to three sample drafts for you guys and question about uh, tell me your machine learning projects in details Okay, tell me about your machine learning project details. In any project, they may ask about the most common questions like, tell me about your project details, what inspires you to make this project, aim and objective of your project, what challenges you faced and how you overcame it, how, how you connect your connect your project with the database, if database included in your project. For the implementation part of your project, you have to handle the implementation okay, and about. other details. What inspires you to make this project? Already discussed in the question 2, tell the types of machine learning. So there are three types of machine learning, supervised learning and unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning. The model learns from the labeled data, example classification and regression is known as the supervised learning. The model learns from the unlabeled data, example clustering is known as the unsupervised learning. And the reinforcement learning is in this type of learning, the model interacts with the environment using the trial and errors. It will learn the best action that rewards for the given correct action, given correct actions and penalties for the wrong ones. For example, in a self driving car, it may receive plus 10 as a reward for correct actions and minus 10 as a penalty for mistake. Then formula of precision and recall. For example, if you have a machine learning project, you have to know the formula of precision, recall, F1 square, accuracy, confusion matrix, etc. And about true positive, what is true negative, false positive, false negative. They may ask that what is true negative. It is truly negative or falsely predicted as negative. Same as true positive, false positive, false negative. So prepare that type of questions. Pre precision, true positive by true positive plus false positive. Recall, true positive by true positive plus false negative. Accuracy, true positive plus true negative by true positive plus true negative plus false positive plus false negative. F1 score, who into precision into recall by precision plus recall. And uh, one more thing, confusion matrix, they can, they may be asked about the confusion matrix. Now, now the number six question is what is interface and how it is different from the abstract class? What is an abstract class? An abstract class is a special class that contains abstract methods. The significance of an abstract class is that abstract methods inside it are only declared but not implemented. Same as interface, an interface contains the method without their definitions. Only declarations are allowed. It defines what a class should do or not how to do it. What is polymorphism? 
polymorphism means one name and many forms polymorphism allows a single interface to interact with different types of objects then types of polymorphism first is compile time polymorphism then it is runtime polymorphism it is a type of polymorphism that is resolved in compile time it is achieved, achieved through the method overloading where multiple methods have the same name but differ in the number of types or parameters same the runtime polymorphism it is the type of polymorphism that is resolved in during runtime it is achieved through method overriding where a subclass provided its own implementation of a method already defined in the parent class so what is constructor and destructor constructor is used to initialize an object when it is created and destructor used to clean up resources when the object is destroyed so number 10 that is types of constructor that is default constructor parameterized constructor and copy constructor default constructor no parameters initialize the object with the default values in parameterized constructor takes argument to initialize an object with specific values and copy constructor initializes a new object as a copy of an existing object now 11 number what is method overloading and method overriding method overloading multiple implementation with the same method name but different parameters decided during the compile time and method overriding multiple implementation with the same method name and parameter but the method changes during the execution that is runtime based on the object median of an array coding practice coding questions according to your preferable languages now what are the types of join and sql query about dtl dml dcl command drop run utility friends sa properties write a query to find all countries name that starts with m do you have any questions for me what type of what, what are the types of join sql joins are inner join full outer join left join right join and cross join returns record in inner join returns record with matching values in both the tables full outer join return all the records of the table when there is a match in either table left join return all the records from the left table and matching ones from the right right join returns all the records from the right table and matching ones from the left cross join returns all the cartesian product of the both the tables find the second highest salary it is the sql code or, sorry uh, now coming to 14 number find the second highest salary it is the sql query i have written so now 15 number about dtml ds ddl and dcl commands ddl data definition language create alter drop truncate are its commands dml data manipulation language select insert update delete DCL data control language grant and revoke. Now the difference between drop, truncate, and delete difference. Delete removes specific data, truncate removes all the data from the table, and drop removes the table itself. Now ST properties. ST full form atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. The entire transaction takes place at once and nothing happens at all. It is atomicity. The database must be consistent before and after the transaction. It is consistency. And isolation, multiple transactions occur independently without any interference. Durability, the changes of successful transactions occur even if system failures occurs. It is also a SQL query. I have wrote it. Now coming to 18 number, I have also written the query that write a query to find all the countries that start with A. Please refer to that. Now coming to the interview experience 2. So now coming to the interview experience 2, duration is 21 minutes. Tell me something about yourself. Tell me about your most recent projects and what is your role in that project? Linear search or binary search, which is faster? Explain the bubble search. Difference between stack and queue. Explain stack and queue with real life applications. Operation of stack data structure. Tell me something about yourself already discussed. Second question is about your most recent projects. As for your project, you will say the answer. Role of your project, role in your project, as for your project, same. So coming to the question number four, linear searches and binary searches, which is faster? Linear searches is searches one by one from start to end, and binary search searches by dividing the array repeatedly. Time complexity of linear search is big of n, and time complexity of binary search is big of log n. And linear search works on uncertain data, while binary search works on required sorted data. Binary search is more faster because it reduces the search space logarithmically, and while linear search checks each element one by one. And coming to fifth question, that is bubble sort. Repeatedly swap adjacent elements to sort an array. It continues to pass until the array is completely sorted. Difference between the stack and queue. Stack, last in, first out, that is LIFO. And queue, first in, first out, that is LIFO. And stack, insert or delete from top only. Queue, insert at rear and delete from front. Stack, application, undo features in editors. And queue, application, print queue or task scheduling. Stack and queue, real life example in question number seven. Stack example, place stack in a cafeteria. You take the top plate first. Or undo or redo in text editor. These are the real life examples of stack operation. And queue people standing in a line at a ticket counter. First person in the line is searched first. And print jobs uh, jobs in a printer queue. That is the queue operation. So operation of the stack data structure. Eight number. Push, pop, peak, is empty and is full. Push add an element to the top of the stack. Pop. Remove the element from the top of the stack. Peak. View the element at the top without removing it. Is empty. Check if the stack is empty or not. Is full. Check if the stack is full. In case of it is a fixed size. So before moving to next, I want to share that I have taken this screenshot of the interview experiences from the interview experience ebook. The details I will share below. That don't know how to prepare. Our team created an ebook 
especially for you guys who are preparing for the technical interview round of LTI Mindtree from the real interview experiences and insights from our own research pattern. It covers interview experiences from 2024-25 pass out batches candidates also. The book is a top mate platform. I will put the link in the description. Don't be confused. Now the book is divided into three categories to make it more affordable and accessible. I will show you. It is the 52 plus real interview experience ebook and it is the 20 plus real interview experience ebook and it is the 30 plus real interview experience ebook. If you want to buy the 52 plus real interview experience ebook, there is no need to buy the 20 plus and 30 plus book because the 52 plus ebook is a combined version of 20 plus and 30 plus real interview experience ebook stack. So 20 plus real interview experiences, 20 plus real LTI mindtree interview experiences track is only and only 29 rupees and 30 plus real LTI mindtree interview experience track is only and only 39 rupees and the 52 plus real LTI mindtree interview experience full track is only and only 69 rupees. It was created to make the content more affordable and accessible for everyone so that every student can benefit from it. You can apply the code new one to get extra 10% off on these ebooks. All the links will be available in this video description box including this current PDF also. So it is the 20 plus real LTI mentor interview experience ebook surface. I have attached the screenshot for your reference. It is the 30 plus real LTI mentor interview experience surface. And it is the 52 plus real LTI mentor interview experience surface. Apart from the, these ebooks, we also added an LTI mentor interview pro pack. It includes a 20 minute virtual mock interview and a 52 plus real LTI mentor interview experience ebook. The full pack I, I say at ever uh, this pack, this 52 plus real LTI mentor interview experience full pack and a 20 minutes video mock interview. Only and only for available for 99 rupees, you also get an extra 10% discount on this price also applying the code new one. If you would buy both items separately, it will cost total 120 rupees. So this pack is better and more affordable option for the complete reparison. The link will be given in the video description box. The pack name will be LTI Mentor Interview Pro Pack. It consists one video mock interview of 20 minutes and 52 plus real LTI Mentor Interview Experiences full pack book. LTI Mentor Interview Pro Pack that contains 52 plus real LTI Mentor Interview Experience ebook and one 20 minutes video sessions. One more thing to note, 20 plus means more than 20 experience, 30 plus means more than 30 experiences, 52 plus means more than 52 experiences. So I, I name the books this way, I assure you that the first and second books together also include 52 plus real interview experiences in total. We previously also conducted various mock interviews for TCS, Kongi and Gen C, Capgemini, etc. For this, you can check our YouTube community post or visit our topnet platform. The decision is totally yours. If anyone is interested, I will put the link in the description box of this video. Or if you are not able to decide what to buy or not, connect with me on topnet and ask me anything section is absolutely free of cost. Then coming to the interview experience 5, duration is 25 minutes, technical interview questions, introduce yourself about your full stack projects in details, which database did you use and why, what are access modifiers in Java, what is super keywords in Java, difference between heap and stack memory in Java, coding is find the GCD of two numbers. So coming to the answers part of interview experience 5, introduce yourself already discussed, about your projects already discussed, as for your project you will say, what database did you use according to your project, tell the database, access modifiers in Java, access modifiers define who can access a class method or variable, super keyword in Java, the super keyword in Java is a reference variable used within a subclass to refer to its immediate parent class, heap and stack memory in Java, heap memory stores the object and instant variables managed by garbage collector and stack stores local variables and method calls memory clear automatically after method execution. Find GCD of two number, practice, practice the coding questions according to your preferable languages. I have taken this screenshot from the interview experience ebook mentioned above. If you want to purchase, I will put the link in the description box. Let me know in the comment section whether I should continue these questions and answer series or just share the questions only. I have also shared some previous uh, interview experiences in LTM entry video, part 1 and part 2. You can check, check our YouTube videos for that. Do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and thank you viewers.